So guys, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about this build that I just put together. And I wanna say this is probably the first time that I've actually played with this build since back in the first raid early on. And I'll tell you that they did change a lot to this build, so it's not the same, but holy, was I surprised that this build was able to hit approximately about 1 million damage harder than my Aces and Eights build. Yes, yeah, so I put it together, people were telling me, try it out, and I messed with it. And with this build, with the procs, I was able to hit 57 million 500 around there. And with the Aces and Eights build, I was hitting around 56 million and 400, and that's with the crit version of it. So I'm gonna tell you guys, this build is absolutely legit and, and it's, it's it's a fun build to use and what i did is instead of running with the nemesis which is one of my favorite snipers a lot of you guys say you guys hate the charge time well i was able to give you guys a different version of that so we are going to be using a different sniper and as you guys are seeing in here no charge time aim down the sights and pop those headshots so what we are going to do is break down the build for you guys and hopefully you guys are ready for this one definitely one that I am enjoying now that I see it's actually a really good sniper build so let's get into it so obviously you guys know with any sniper build the sharpshooter specialization is going to be the go-to the tag 50 and with this build you 100% want to run the tag 52 and we'll we'll explain in just a second now we do have 726,000 armor 332,000 health and we are all red, six reds. So for the weapon, we are running the White Death. Now this is capped for me at 1.1 million damage with a five round mag. We have 15% marksman rifle damage. We have 137% headshot damage, which you guys know is higher on this weapon than on any other sniper. So if we look at the other snipers like the Nemesis, it's at 111%. For the White Death, it's higher because that's the name version. The name version gives you that. Now, this one does have 10% critical hit damage, which I don't mind. But it, you guys, if you guys aren't hitting a lot of crits, maybe 10% da damage to targets out of cover is probably be better for you. Now, this has Ranger on it. Amplifies weapon damage by 2% for every 5 meters you are away from your target. So the further you are away, the harder you're going to hit. And Ranger usually typically is what you usually see on sniper builds. You can run a lot of other talents, but that's usually typically what you see on these types of builds so yeah the white death right there probably one of the harder hitting snipers in the game you guys actually can get this if you guys watch my vendor reset video one of the dz's does have it this week for the secondary you can run whatever i have the scorpio on that that's you actually get it from this season pass if you guys haven't finished it level 55 so yeah you guys can get the scorpio right there if anything you can run any other you can run a different sniper if you want to run the mantis nemesis the great thing is this is a gold weapon so i can run any exotic that i want so what is the build well you guys might have guessed it by the procs and seeing it um it's called tip of the spear so the two piece is going to give you 10 percent signature weapon damage doesn't really matter for me but the three piece gives me that 10 percent weapon damage okay and then the four pieces where this gets interesting and which really surprised me. Dealing damage with the signature weapon increases total weapon damage by 20% for 60 seconds. So all I have to do is deal damage, nothing else. So that's what I use my sniper. I pull it out, boom, the tag 50 hits him. I either kill him or I do damage and bam, I got 20% extra weapon damage for 60 seconds. Now, what's cool about this is automatically generate signature weapon ammo every 60 seconds. So this allows me to continue to generate signature ammo and not having to leave the battlefield, leave where I'm at, and I can just generate that ammo if I need to every 60 seconds, switch to my signature weapon, boom, and continue on, right? So that, that's typically what you see. With the build, I have weapon damage, headshot damage, and then headshot damage again. Now for the chest piece, we went with chain killer. So this gives us that 5% weapon damage, and it has weapon damage on here, critical hit chance, we have a headshot damage roll, and then we have a headshot damage mod. Now we have perfect headhunter, so this is just a little better than regular headhunter, so if you don't have this one, you could run regular headhunter. And it says, after killing an enemy with a headshot, your next weapon hit within 30 seconds deals additional 150% of that killing blows damage. Damage is capped to 800% of your weapon damage. This is raised to 1,250% if 
your headshot damage is greater than 150%, which you'll see that we have. So Perfect Headhunter gives you an additional 25% versus regular Headhunter, which is 125%, I believe. So that's where you're getting extra damage right there too. So remember, this is actually the harder your weapon damage hits, right? The, the better it is. So once you get that headshot kill, that's where you start to see those high numbers. So our second piece of tip of the spear, we have weapon damage and headshot damage, and that is the holster. Our third piece of tip of the spear are the knee pads, weapon damage, headshot damage, and you can see I can still improve the weapon damage a little bit more on here, 2.6% on this piece. For the gloves, we have weapon damage, headshot damage. And then for the backpack, the Raldi backpack with 10% marksman rifle damage, we have 15% weapon damage, we have 10% headshot damage, 5.8% critical hit chance, and then 10% headshot damage. And then we have vigilance on here. Increase total weapon damage by 25%, taking damage disables this buff. So an additional 25% raw weapon damage. And that's why you add all this weapon damage. And when you pair it up with the talent headhunter, you get those high numbers. And, and that's what's really cool. And I was really surprised um, that aces and eights didn't work as good as this. I mean, 1 million damage difference isn't that much. It's still up there, but just solo, no buffs, everything. It was hitting around 56 million and this one was hitting around 57 million. So about a million difference. And that's what's pretty crazy about it. If we look at the stats, you'll see we have 25% crit chance. So not bad. One in um, four chance to hit a crit. 50% critical hit damage, which is pretty decent when you pair it up with this build that has 306% headshot damage. So that's why with this build, we're able to really destroy enemies and once we once we build those stacks that's what you guys were seeing right and once we have tip of the spear active a lot of damage coming out of this building and that's what's really impressive about the build now like all my sniper builds i always recommend the decoy and then a pulse decoy pulse are going to be the go-to for any sniper build for me right and then obviously for the build itself the extra damage you get from the headshot damage on the white death is, is, is what's pretty cool. So if you guys have any questions, remember you can run any sniper you want. I personally like running the Nemesis because I just like the charge time. It's not too bad. You hold it, boom, headshot. Um, a lot of people don't like the charge time, so they like weapons like this that still hit hard and can drop enemies. Um, you can switch it around, play with it, but I'm telling you guys, this is, a, this is actually a really fun build and I'm having a ton of fun with it. We're going to wrap up the video here, guys. I appreciate the support. Appreciate the love. Thanks for the ideas. If you guys have a build that hits harder than this, a sniper build, let me know in the comment section. And, and I'll test it out. Great things to test out. All right, I'll see you guys around. Until the next one, A, hey, nothing but skills out.